Hello, my name is Patrick. Today I want to show you the story of the seven cave churches of Cairo. Look, it's right here, right behind me. This church was literally carved out of the side of the mountain and can house 20,000 worshippers at one time. So you might be wondering, who are the 20,000 that worship here? Well, they are known as the Sevillian. Marhaba, Patrick! The Sabalian moved into southeastern Cairo in 1970 after being forced to leave Giza. The Sabalian live in Manjiyat Nazir, or what is known as the Garbage City. They make their living by recycling the items around them. In 1975, a fire burned much of the city and destroyed the church of these Coptic Christians. After this, the Sabalian sought to make another, more permanent place to worship. Let's take a look inside the church now. Look, I told you they could fit 20,000 people in here. In fact, the church occasionally has massive worship services, which pack the building out for more than 12 hours. Much of the church's architecture and art were inspired by the forefathers of the Coptic church, like Simon the Tanner. Simon was a saint from the 10th century who was said to have moved the mountain through prayer. The Sabellian named their worship center the Monastery of St. Simon the Tanner, in remembrance of the Great Feet. Another Coptic father who inspired the development of the church is Shenut, who had organized a monastic community in the early to mid-5th century at the base of the cliffs that the Sabellian now worship at. Early Copts organized at the base of this mountain to escape persecution. The Sabellians still face persecution from Islamic groups. One of the residents, Adel Gad al-Rab, explained to the Voice of America magazine. We are the garbage collectors, but we live on a mountain of faith. You can also see a reflection of Coptic traditions in the art of the church. Shanut, one of the early Copts, felt that beauty helped communicate spiritual purity. You can see much of this influence on the art which seeks to enlighten people about salvation through symbolic figures.